polka dots, checks, and stripes. Yikes! Hi, welcome to Jen's Judo. My name is Jen, and today I'm going to teach you 15 advanced vocabulary words to describe clothing patterns in English. Our first vocabulary word for today is solid or plain. If you describe clothing as being solid or plain, it means that there is no pattern, there's no design. For example, right now I'm wearing a solid black shirt. This is my favorite plain purple sweater. Number two is striped. To describe something as being striped means that it has long lines of color. This shirt has horizontal stripes, meaning the stripes go like this. You can also have vertical stripes like this, meaning the stripes go up and down like this here. So this word is striped. Number three is pinstriped. Pinstriped is striped, but it means that the stripes are vertical and usually white or a very light color against a black or dark background. We usually see pinstripes in suits. So a pinstriped suit or my pinstriped pants. Number four is plaid, plaid. Plaid is when you have both vertical and horizontal stripes usually of different colors that will cross each other to make a design. For example, I have some plaid pajama bottoms. I also have a beautiful soft plaid blanket. There is a very specific word called tartan. Tartan is a type of plaid but it's a specific type of plaid that's used to help identify Scottish clans. So you might see tartan kilts, which is like a type of sort of skirt traditionally worn in Scotland. I am not Scottish, so I don't have any tartan, but my uncle was, and he was part of the Lorry clan. So this is his tartan. Number five is checkered. I searched all over my house and the only thing I could find that's checkered is a checker board. <laughs> so checkered means it has different squares of alternating colors together like this. So checkered, a pattern of different squares together. Number six is gingham. I don't have anything that's gingham either, but it looks like this. Gingham is a pattern similar to checkered, but very specifically where one of the colors is white and the other is some kind of bright color, usually blue, sometimes green or red are the most popular colors. When I think of gingham, I think of either a red gingham tablecloth for a picnic or the blue gingham gown that Judy Garland wore in The Wizard of Oz. Number seven is Argyle. Argyle is this type of pattern here, where there's sort of diamonds that touch each other. Things that are argyle patterned are usually made of wool, and this pattern is most commonly found in sweaters and socks. Number eight is polka dots. Polka dots are small circles that are the same color against a different color. And all of the dots should be the same size. So this is polka dots. Number nine is spotted. Spotted is similar to polka dots, but it's where the dots are different colors and also different sizes. The closest clothing I have to spotted is this galaxy printed pants. <laughs> but here's another example of spotted. Number 10 is tie-dyed, tie-dyed. Tie-dyed patterns are created by actually tying the clothes when you dye them so that not all parts become colored. This is a tie-dyed hoodie. Number 11 is animal print. 
Animal print clothing is when the design of the clothing is supposed to look like some kind of animal. The most common animal print clothing that we have is leopard print, tiger print, zebra print, giraffe print, and snake print. Number 12 is camouflage or camo for short. Camouflage or camo means that the clothes are designed to help you blend in with nature. This type of pattern is traditionally worn by soldiers and it includes green, brown, and black. I don't have any camo clothing, but here's a great example. Number 13 is floral. Floral print or floral pattern means that the clothing is decorated with some kind of flower pattern. So floral. I'm currently wearing a floral shirt. Number 14 is paisley. Paisley is a pattern that looks sort of like feathers or teardrops. And the patterns are usually very detailed and have curved ends on them. I do not really own things that are paisley. This one dress was as close as I could find. But here's a good example of paisley. Number 15 is patterned. But we can say what kind of pattern it is. So this is what you can use to describe a pattern or design that doesn't fit any of the words we've already looked at today. For example, my t-shirt is Pokemon patterned. This hoodie has a sushi pattern. This dress has a unicorn pattern, and so on. Bonus, a point to be careful of is a shirt that maybe looks like this. I wouldn't call this a patterned t-shirt. I'd call it a printed t-shirt or a graphic t-shirt. This is when you just have one picture on the shirt. It's, it's not any repeating patterns or designs, just one solid picture. So here is a graphic t-shirt, graphic or printed. So today you have learned 15 advanced adjectives to help describe clothing patterns in English. And now it's time for question of the day. For today's question of the day in the comments below, please describe your favorite outfit, but do it using some of the vocabulary from today's lesson. I look forward to reading your answers in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen's Jugio and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies. See you in the next lesson.